Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing my journey of reviewing every Kairosoft game ever released with Kairosoft's second ever international release, Hot Spring Story. In this series, I will be reviewing all the translated titles in the order that they were internationally released. But I'll also note down the traditional Japanese release order too. As you can see on the screen here, Hot Spring Story was the second ever international release but it was actually the fifth Japanese game. Hot Spring Story was the highly anticipated follow-up release after the massive hit of Game Dev Story. And Kairosoft, you sly sly dog. Hot Spring Story is one hell of a game, certainly one worthy of a follow-up. Kairosoft knew they had to pull out the big guns to follow Game Dev Story. Game Dev Story saw great commercial success and arguably defined an entire game genre still made to this day. Does Hot Spring Story stack up to this monumental expectations of its predecessor? Let's find out. Hot Spring Story in a nutshell is a charming simulation game where you manage your very own hot spring business. You start small with humble origins with a single hot spring for customers to use and work your way up through the hot spring guide ranks to expand into your own dream layout, effectively being its own separate game genre too. Rather than being focused on developing the product itself, like in Game Dev Story, you manage the game produced completely, Hot Spring Story has you focus on the layout and structure building of the business itself to draw in customers. In fact, a large amount of Kairosoft games can be broken up into these two categories. Game Dev Story is a product focused game where you have to keep focusing on the product itself being made and the process involved with this. While Hot Spring Story is layout focused, rewarding you for rethinking how to structure your business and grow from it. Let's jump straight into Hot Spring Story's features and what makes them so great. When you start the game, you will notice that it is abundantly more Japanese themes than Game Dev Story, incorporating traditional Japanese elements into the game style. The style of Hot Spring Story, in my opinion, is a lot more defined and memorable for me than Game Dev Story. Being able to customize every single layout aspect of your own Japanese springs is a very fun and unique concept. The level of customization that Hot Spring Stories offers is immense. You can literally control and change every single tile within the facility. There are three main types of structures that you can place. These are shops that customers can spend their money on, facilities that customers can use alongside these shops, and environmental decorative tiles such as plants that enhance the scenery of nearby facilities. The stores and utilities are your direct source of income. You can also purchase items to upgrade each of these facilities to upgrade their price and popularity. This leads into the first Kairosoft quirk of the game that I would like to discuss. In my game dev story review, I talked about how Kairosoft quirks are unique gameplay mechanics which have their own special charm to them that define why Kairosoft games are so creative and fun. In Hot Spring Story, when you place certain facilities next to each other, they will activate a combo, which either enhances or devalues the facilities next to them. This is such a unique and great way to twist up the layout simulation of the game, rewarding the player with smart, optimal layouts. All of the combos are listed in the menu, but only when you discover them. This invokes such a great sense of discovery and collection. It's like a Pokédex of combos that will help your spring succeed. It also feels super rewarding when you uncover a new combo, intentionally or not. It's such a great way to gamify collecting all of the combos, as they are super fun to uncover as you progress through the game. The other main crucial aspect of the game is the guests themselves that come in to visit the facility. Hot Springs Story introduces a great new feature of being able to see the customers physically walk into the store and decide if they want to come in or not. It adds another level of immersiveness to the game. It is really satisfying seeing customers decide if they want to come in or not. It feels really natural. You can also specifically track an individual customer and see every single step that they take throughout their stay, slowly filling up their satisfaction meter, leading to bonuses down the line. This is such a great idea. It's so fun just watching these guests go about their day in the springs and see what they're gonna go to next. It's also super funny just watching the guests on their road as they approach the entry. Will they enter today? Oh no, this man is simply too busy for hot springs. No rest for the week. This man is simply too busy to enjoy a relaxing bath. He needs to develop the next smash hit to top the Global Game Awards. Round Phoenix came out swinging with Dragon Quest last year. There's stakes to be made. Tracking the guests this specifically just adds another level of immersiveness to the whole world and game that I rarely see in other titles. It's just so cathartic watching them do whatever they want. This is Kairosoft at its finest, being able to pull you in and immerse you in on a feature that barely impacts the actual gameplay but adds so much overall. Is there any benefit to watching grandma hit up the vibrating chair twice in the same day? Nope, but I'm absolutely hooked. I can't look away. Thrilling.
As your center begins to expand and progress, you'll be able to invest in your community to unlock new facilities and bring in new target audience demographics. You will eventually have a whole variety of worker types coming in to relax in your spas. It's another great aspect of collecting all elements, similar to Pokédex. Every now and again, you'll encounter what I like to call a boss guest. Another Kairosoft quirk for the game. Boss guest! These guys act as judges and are the pickiest, most relentless, ruthless guests to make smile and have a great stay. Your job is to continually keep improving all the facilities that they are likely to use, specifically pick the exact room that they stay in order to make their satisfaction gauge reach full and return again as a normal customer. I love this concept, having a super picky and demanding guest that only demands the highest quality vending machine drinks and life-changing massage chair rise is so hilarious to me. It's actually really rewarding having a customer that you had difficulty with finally crack and enjoy their stay in the springs after rearranging and upgrading everything nearby to them and strategizing on how to beat them. The fact that there is a sense of strategy and planning needed for such a laid back relaxing game is such a fun experience. That's classic Kairosoft game design for you. Alongside all of these great new features I've mentioned, there's actually a lot of familiar returning features from Game Dev Story that are apparent in the game. Or are back and better than ever. At random times your customer will get an aura that will encourage them to spend more money and even more nights at the resort, cementing the aura mechanic as a staple Kairosoft quirk in multiple game titles. I always found it funny that a customer would randomly combust and then feel extremely motivated to tip extra generously on the next facility that they use. I'm on fire, but damn, this sushi is fire too. So polite and respectful. Alongside the aura mechanic, the signature bizarre special characters return and they can often visit your springs late in the game. Kairosoft's charm is so apparent in this game as it was in Game Dev Story, perhaps even more so. There are various other things that are great about Hot Springs Story that I could go on for hours. As I mentioned earlier, the Japanese focus is great and the visuals of all the items and the scenery looks really good. This is especially true with the seasons. Certain plants and scenery will change depending on the season of the year. Great touch. It really makes it feel like it's worth setting up a unique layout incorporating lots of environmental tiles and seeing your customers walk through them and relax. Yearly specific events such as Golden Week, occurring on the fifth month of every year, which is a Japanese holiday in real life, greatly increases the customers for the week in the game. It's a great touch. They aren't joking about the increase of customers. These workers are desperate for a spa this week. Half the town comes in. You will often have to frantically build extra accommodation and more than often people will get turned down due to not having enough space. Sorry, Kyle, hit the road. There's not enough spas for your stay tonight. At this point though, I've covered the basics of the game and I don't want to spoil any more of this amazing game. Let's type out the review. Hot Springs Story. This is the second ever international Kairosoft title ever released following the massive successful Game Dev Story. And boy, did Kairosoft deliver with this title. Hot Springs Story introduces a new style of gameplay, having you focus on constructing the physical layout of the business itself rewarding the player for strategic placement and uncovering secret building combinations that complement each other for extra bonuses. You can interact with your guests in a very detailed manner in the game. Being able to follow every single step that the customer takes throughout their stay at the resort is such a blast. It's such a relaxing sensation. Drawing in all kinds of different guests throughout various unlocks, uncovering the various stat increasing building combos makes this game a great collecting experience. Kairosoft has packed the game to the brim with charm with its Japanese aesthetic and being able to customize literally every single tile shows how diverse and customizable the experience is. I would highly recommend this game as it is an incredibly rewarding discovery based game. I would rate this game 8.5 hot springs out of 10. This is just my personal rating, so let me know what you think about Hot Spring Story in the comments below and if you think it is better than Game Dev Story. Placing Hot Spring Story above Game Dev Story is definitely a controversial pick, but I believe the new building layout focused gameplay is super rewarding, and overall the experience of the game and additions it makes to Kairosoft and its future titles as a whole is very influential. I'm also a sucker for collectathon games where you uncover secrets, so this game was right up my alley. If you enjoyed the look of this game, I definitely recommend you checking it out. And also if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, it does help out significantly. In the next Kairosoft review, we'll be looking at Kairosoft's third ever international release, Pocket Academy. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that one as you won't want to miss it. Until next time, see ya!